Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am again joined by my wife, Brenna. And Brenna, you wanna give them the lowdown about what we are looking at today? Today we are talking about the JW Boot Company booties. They look great. Let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about it. So we've got a nice, uh, we'll start with the sole. Start from the bottom up. Let's go. So we've got a beautiful sole here, leather sole. Uh, says the JW Ranch right in the bottom. Love to see that, a little branding. Won't last very long, but Still it looks fun. nice. Yeah, you've got a nice uh, stacked leather heel here. Ladies, if you are not used to wearing leather soles, there's no traction. Next thing going on here is that we have the zipper. It is a full zip, so it should be pretty easy to get your foot in and out of there. We've got a nice rounded toe. It is a nice toe shape. It's not uh, too wide at all. And it does have a nice uh, single welt on the outside running all around the shoe. So the next thing that you'll notice here is we do have a single pole strap on each side. Really just for looks, you don't really need that. Like I said, this does zipper all the way down. So you're not really gonna need to pull it on too much. You've got some nice stitching all around the side. Uh, not anything crazy, but just enough to give it that like pizzazz. You know, you can feel it, it's raised, it's really nice. And then working our way to the inside, you've got a nice simple leather lining. It doesn't feel as soft of a leather as the Alcalas booties, the Python. Uh, but it is, it's a nice quality leather. You can, you know, feel how soft it is and it's gonna be nice to put your foot into. It's just very simple and sleek like you were mentioning with the stitching, but the cording is just, I really like the style. It's just simple. It's not overdone. But heel is a nice size. Uh, I think it's two inches, would you say maybe? Maybe a little. Yeah, two, two and a quarter. So, you know, you can wear this every day. And you can see that the heel slants in a little bit, so you're gonna have a little bit more support, they're gonna be a little bit more comfortable, versus a heel that's out here, where then all of the pressure is really supported in your foot here. The heel comes in a little bit, so you're really cradling it, you're getting the support underneath your foot. So that's gonna be important for a boot that you're gonna wanna wear every single day, is to understand you know, how that's gonna affect you, because if you're wearing it all day, it's gotta feel good. True that. Anything else before you want to try this boot on? I don't think so. All right. Let's get into it. <laughs> they are pretty comfortable, I would say. Really easy to get on, the full zip. Really comfy, easy to walk in. Maybe a little bit stiff, um, but they are new and they are full leather, so I imagine that that will kind of like ease up with time. Um, the toes seem a little, they have like a little point up. I've just never had boots like that. My boots have always um, like laid flat in the toe, like flat against the ground um, in something that like a typical fashion boot would do and like I think most of us are used to doing with uh, or seeing with our shoes. Uh, so it's kind of like a different look. I kind of like it. It's a little bit more uh, sophisticated or like rocker vibe or something like that. Um, so I think that that's kind of fun for me. I like the shine. That's uh, also fun for me. You know, if you wanted to elevate a simple outfit, I could see these being good for that. You don't get too much slip because of that rubber on the bottom of the heel, which is really nice. They're very balanced. I have a shoe. Um, you can feel that they're there. I wouldn't say they're light. You can definitely tell they are handmade. Like you can see the stitching. Maybe there's a drop stitch here or whatever. Um, but someone made these boots and you can feel the difference when you put them on. Today we are at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum and we are going to check out some art. And we're going to do that with the JW Boot Company booties in the Black Cherry Extended Test. Just going to wear them around for the day, see how they do, see how my feet feel at the end of the day. We anticipate lots of walking because there's lots of art to see.
my feet hurt. There's not a lot of padding in the sole. Possible that it's just because they're not really broken in. Hey everybody, we are back with Blake and Brenna has some questions about the JW Boot Company booty. You wanna take it away? Yeah, so I was wearing the boot and I was like, these are really cool. What kind of was your inspiration behind making the booty? Originally, our line of boots designed for men. And we basically took the exact same one and created them for women. So, will you make these in any more colors? Yes, I have it in a kind of a goldish. Like a honey? Kind of a honey. Very nice. So, you got the black cherry and the honeycomb kind of color. I feel like with that, you take over the world. With these booties, do you have anything else in your vision of what else they could be? Are you going to get into exotics on the booties? Are you going to do different heel heights? Anything like that? So with our equestrian style, what I have just on my side is all the things to get in deer skin. So we can, the vamp and the uh, cow we can make it any kind of thing we have out of the gators. So I, I feel like we can do the same Totally. And I feel like Python is having a moment right now, so I bet you'd clean up if you had Python on these things. <laughs> How do you feel like this booty sets you apart from other booties on the market? Because, I mean, when I look at a lot of your booties, I see them as like a glue construction sometimes. Yeah, I mean, sometimes shitty. they don't <laughs> make them with the metal zipper, like they got plastic zippers, there's no welt stitching at all, they're not resolable. So how are you approaching that and trying to differentiate yourself? It's a handmade booth, you know, all of our colors are not mass produced. Um, our, our price tag is higher on it, but it's it's really good quality booth. Um, we can So how much is this going for? Two sixty five, I think. 265. I'd say that's pretty, that's good. And you could get it for 10% off with the JC10 code. There you go. So, I mean, that's even more reasonable of a deal. And, and one thing I like about that booty is the style of that booty, I think it's a little bit old fashioned. Reminds me of, you know, a Western film that the ladies are wearing those booties to see the booties like that. So it's kind of an old style. Yeah, totally. It's definitely got touches of Western and touches of modern. And that's kind of why I like it because it has like a classic look, but it could definitely skew Western. But if I don't feel like playing up the Westernness of it and just wear a longer pair of pants and it looks like just a good shoe, it's super versatile. That's why I like it. And also the color, black cherry. How can you go wrong? It goes, it goes with black, with it goes with brown, it goes with red, white, like any color, maybe not purple, but it's, uh, I'd try it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> All right, Blake, it's been super fun talking to you. I hope that you come out with 700 more colors for this booty and like every style you can think of because I love what you guys are putting out. Can't wait to get the giveaway going and get some of these booties potentially in people's hands. I think if the female audience gets a hold of what you're doing, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, me too. So thanks for taking the time. Thank you so much for having me. All right, let's do some final thoughts about these boots. All right, let's get into it. These are a great booty. They can be Western, they can be modern, they can really be whatever you want them to be. <laughs> They've got this great stitching up the front and the sides, which is very reminiscent of cowboy boots. Like it's almost the exact same pattern and the cording on here is beautiful. They did a beautiful job. I like um, the cording. I think it's my favorite part about this. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it definitely has those typical Western elements, which is super cool. But if I don't maybe feel like wearing Western boots that day, like maybe I want to wear a more modern outfit or something, or it's just not something that I'm feeling, you can just wear a pant that covers it and boom, you have like an everyday kind of plainer shoe. You can wear it with black, you can wear it with brown, you could wear it with zebra print if you want. I think you can Zebra wear... print? <laughs> I think that would be cool. Uh, <laughs> and then you can be like, what's black, red, and white all over? JW is in a zebra print dress. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's perfect.
The heel on these is not too high, which I personally like because those Alcalas are quite a bit taller. That is a shoe that you are committing to for like an hour at a time because it's gonna start to be painful, even though, again, an incredibly well-made shoe, but a heel that high, you just can't run them all the time. And this I feel like you can get away with for quite a few more hours. It doesn't have a lot of insole. It's really just the leather <laughs> and then the sole. Yeah. It's, uh, it gets a little tough on the ball of my foot. So I think if I was gonna make these an absolutely everyday shoe, I would get an insole to put just right here. Cause that's where you're taking a lot of the brunt when you're walking on this thing. Um, the cowboy boot definitely has more give than this insole does. Mm -hmm. Very thin foam insole. It's almost like, almost like a hard leather insole, but just you get a little bit just more. Just a touch. Just a touch. Just a touch. And of course you've got the leather sole, so that's not, it's not a vibrant sole. It's not made for any of that. So you're just getting, you know, good old quality leather. I would also say that because these are a little bit heavier, they, I want to call them well-constructed. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, mm -hmm. they feel weighty. There's something here. The one thing that I guess throws me a little bit is that there's only a pull strap on one side. So when you wear them, it can look kind of like you're a little uneven here, which doesn't really bother me. But if, it were, if there was one thing that I could change about the boot, it would probably be that. Or just take the pull strap off. You don't really need it. Um, and it just brings a little unbalance to it. I think the other thing that he could do is maybe use a slightly nicer zipper. I like the color of this one. And that it's metal. And that it's metal. So, I mean, it's awesome. But maybe it needs some oil or something. It's a little bit tough to pull. And, I mean, CH, I don't, that's the zipper maker. It's not like a custom pull that he could have. Um, just something to make it that one more piece of quality. If he had something, what's his logo? So if he had that, on like a cool circle on the zipper. That would be just another element that he could bring to the table. That would be super cool, super unique. I like that and idea. And memorable for yeah. folks. Cause I feel like this is, you're not you're not remembering the zipper. It's not, I don't know, you remember the boot as a whole because it's a super awesome boot. But I'm always looking for, what do they do to make this different? What do they do to not just pull this off the back of some guy's truck and be like, yeah, we'll sell those. Cause that's, I don't know, kind of how I feel like the Western boot world works. So you're looking for some kind of little touch that makes this a JW booty, not just some random booty when somebody else looks at it. Yeah, totally. That's why Louboutin did the red soles, right? So when people look at it, they're like, I know exactly what that is. You think that's worth the 265? You can have this boot for the rest of your life. Unless you're growing out of them, you can do the maintenance, you can do the upkeep that's gonna keep these looking good forever. I can't say that about cheaper boots. And even though there's gonna be a break-in period with these that you're not gonna have with cheaper boots, that really sets it apart. These are something you can have for the rest of your life and you're gonna pay for that. So that seems fair. Cool. Remember that if you want to win a pair of booties for yourself, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and fill out the form in the description and then on friday february 28th at 7 p.m eastern i'm going to be doing another boots and ballads live stream and announcing three winners that's right this month we have three winners yeah we're giving away three different pairs of cowboy boots to three different winners on february 28th so you're gonna want to be there so enter to win right now ladies enter yes this ladies. is the first one of the first giveaways that Jeremiah has done that the ladies can get something cool out of this too. So husbands, if you're out there, boyfriends, you're out there and your girlfriend needs a pair of boots, enter for her too. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Brenna, for helping me out by doing this review for these booties. And we'll see you next time. Peace, everybody. Now those GW booties can make a girl grin simply for the fact they can go with everything Wear them with modern or western styles Plus the last four years while you're putting on the miles Thank you for watching today Don't forget to enter the giveaway 
I'll see you around. Subscribe while you're at it.